and I created Australian Books for Children of Africa in 2003, uh, quite by accident really. It was started in 2003 after a trip when we went back to South Africa. You, you can hear from my accent. We happened to go past a school in KwaZulu-Natal in the Shushui area called Makasa. We just noticed all the children just milling around the school and we found out that the children there were mainly orphans whose parents had died of AIDS and some of them were suffering from AIDS. So we thought, well, we should do something. You know, we're very fortunate to be traveling around KwaZulu-Natal. Perhaps we should give back. So we contacted the principal and asked what we could do. And she said to us, you know, what I need is atlases, I need dictionaries, I need books. I don't have any books to give these kids. And I could do so much more if I had all this educational materials. So when we came back to Australia, we looked at first perhaps buying some books and atlases, and we found out that to transport that to uh, South Africa, we'd actually have to pay import duty, and it became very difficult. But if we send second-hand books and second-hand educational material, South Africa would take that in. really a book about life and philosophy of life and in the book there's a saying the more you read the more you know the more you know the more places you'll go and so we have sent over 250,000 books to Africa now and this is this is the 250,000th book that is going around. Dear Madam, I want to say thank you very much for that house you have given to us and I want to show you that I appreciate it. What does that say? Do you know? Yes. 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 book for children of, children of Africa. You are too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you all want to go down. In that case, of course, you all head straight out of town. It's Bob's birthday. Let's play hide and seek. Ready or not, here comes Bob's 